Hello everyone, this is I here. Um, today I would like to explain a bit about um, scrolling technique bracelet. And um, when I say scrolling technique bracelet, I mean a design like this here. This is a few examples. So you have a bead, bead in the middle, um, a centerpiece. So you have centerpiece in the middle. And then the design will have two crowns. And the crowns are those on the side, which I call them crowns. And you have your length of your bracelet. Okay, so it's three parts to um, your design really. You choose a bead, a piece like that. Or um, I'll show you some other um, things that you can use later. So basically that's what it is. A, a centerpiece, two crowns and the length of the bracelet. So this one here is called Marif. I made this a few months back and this piece here um, is the first one I made. So it's very simple. Uh, it uses um, rainbow loom bands, um, the Persian black uh, bands, 300 packs, and it uses some other um, brands band as well. Back then, um, it was like when I just first started not very long ago, and in my town there were not um, there were no rainbow loom bands, so I have to sort. Uh, source my bands from somewhere else so I was lucky enough that um, Suzanne HB sent me some of the um, pretty bands and then I have to combine them with some of the awful bands that I have but it, ended, it just turned out really pretty anyway so very simple very simple design but it's really pretty so I actually talk about this piece here in um, my scrolling technique explain as well. So you made the crowns and then you um, basically uh, made the length of the bracelet. The length itself can be anything. Can um, um, I suggest using um, late Luma's Japanese series because I think a lot of it is really pretty in that series and then because they're so streamlined and skinny they made really nice um, length of the bracelet if your bracelet is thin okay or you can use um, a full design like this here this is lush foliage from um, Craig crazy just might work on Instagram and Suzanne HB and this design is really cute um, as well to um, like you can make the length like that and Lush Foolish is um, yeah this is a double band of large Lush Foolish on the side so it's a bit chunkier like that and um, and the tutorial of this um, bracelet is done by Chidaro Blink, the Blink Queen. So if you go to her channel, you'll be able to find find um, that design there. Okay, and I'll show you the next one. Um, this is more. This is a more recent bracelet and the more recent one I actually um, put jump ring in them as well and they are tied to knit as well so they are not so flat as um, the older design okay so it's up to you um, how you want to uh, make your bracelet. So it's also um, depend on what centerpiece you're using. So your design have to go around to suit your centerpiece. Like this one here. This one was posted on Rainbow Loom being reposted a while back and this is 
the centerpiece. This is what it looks like. Okay, I'll stretch it out to show you. So it's just linked by those two bands. Okay, like that. And um, when you have a bigger centerpiece, your crowns can be a lot wider as well. So if this is not um, a bracelet, that there could be a pendant. Okay, so it is up to you if you can remember the sequence of making your um, bracelet. You could make yourself a bracelet and then make yourself a pendant to go with your bracelet. Okay, so I have different um, way of, um, I think it's called fascinate, a uh, fast, fascinating your bracelet to, yeah, hook them together. So let's see, I made, I use um, magnetic class. I think that's what they call They're the magnetic ones. They are great. But you have to make sure you get the one um, that are the right size. If they're too small, your bracelet will come apart too quickly and too easily. You'll lose your bracelet. And if they're too big, they look pretty terrible. So, And all these toggle clasps are great. They're just um, like fox chain kind of design, you know. They're great. I'll show you this one here. They, they're just simple, hooked over, like that. They're wonderful. Okay. And this here, a little flower, a little flower. And push that in. Okay, and then you just press that down. This one's a bit tricky to undo. There we go. <laughs> Alright, and this here is one of the latest piece that I made as well. And this um, bead is grown um, differently from those. I'll show you. Usually I use my bead this way. But this one is used differently um, because I really like the little design in there. I think it actually looked better like that. It's a little bee and the flower. So when I um I use um, the special Rainbow Loom limited edition band in here. Lots of it are li uh, the limited edition bands and. Um, Excuse me, that was my dog, <laughs> and um, and a lot of um, glitter band as well. So the limited edition band makes it so puffy because they are really nice and firm and thick. Thick, so the design become really chunky and firm, and the really. Um, the glitter band adds to the, you know, the fairy looking bracelet um, theme. So they have like little crystal, crystal butterflies as well. And a few jump ring and a little flower. So I think this piece is really pretty, um, but it's a bit chunky. Okay. So. And I want to show you, I'll move all this bracelet out and I want to show you the beads that you can use. Okay, there we go. These are the beads that you can use. This is only some of um, the beads that are, some I bought and some are given to me by friends. And um, you can scroll um, your design with that, it will look really cute. And there's a ladybug design um, bead. 
And with this one, it can be a centerpiece as well. I'll show you how to make this a centerpiece and those. Okay, and it, it really is up to you what you want to use. Okay, all right. Now, you hear funny noises at the background, is the two dogs playing? They are having fun at the moment. So, there we go. Um, and those, they I haven't actually made one a design with those flowers yet. But they're the polymer clay um, flower. I think they're really pretty. They're really, really pretty. And this one are really big as well. So compared to your bead. So I will make something with it. I really love those. And these are the smaller polymer clay um, flowers. Okay, you can add those into your design. And... The beads um, are for, um, for um, let me grab the bracelet. So when you are uh, making your design, you might want to string some beads into it, or crystals. And when you have a bigger crown, um, a bigger centerpiece, you have a bigger crown. So you can have like three beads and pearls or whatever in that okay so you might want to string them first before you start okay so now I am going to show you how to start one oh dog is talking okay I am going to use opaque bands because everyone have got opaque bands okay so um but um obviously using special limited edition band they're gonna be a lot prettier but opaque bands are very pretty as well if you know what to do with them okay so i will select a bead um let's see i'm gonna use this bead here this is um, really cute. This is a ladybug. There's three ladybugs. So if you put it on the side, you see the three of them. Uh, okay. Oh. Stop. They are mucking around. Good doggy. Okay. Now you pull two, um, two bands over. And like that. Okay, then I'm going to use some colors so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so you grab one band. I think I should shift this out a bit more. Okay, one band. So basically you are making a very simple design, like a wing shaped design, okay? One band, going through two bands and you're lifting um, the one closest to your hook. And then you grab another band, pulling the other through two bands, okay? Like that. And you're putting that back, oops. The less twists you have in your band, the better, okay? So design will sit straight, left and right, or the both both of the crown have to be the same. So if you um, if you can make your design with less twists in it, they will sit nicely um, and they look symmetrical. So there we go, we have three. We're using the most simple um, wing design okay now you're going to turn your hook around and grab another band and when I first started I used a loom hook so design can't be expand too much so that's why Marie was a really small bracelet okay so you pull one band through two bands and then you pick up the one that's closest to your hook and you put that back. So 
if you have a two-ended hook, you can do anything you want, really. So you might need two two-ended hooks sometime. So there we go. Um, yeah, you do need two two-ended hooks if you are um, doing your design um, like I am now. You might want to, okay, one band through two bands, okay, and then you put that back. Yeah, if you are using, if you're making this for yourself, you will have to remember the sequence. So you will need two hooks. When you finish those two, you turn around and do the same again on the other side. So um, they are symmetrical because um, not everyone's going to remember the whole bracelet and then do the other side. So you will need two hooks, okay, left and right hooks to finish one bracelet. So this is only one side, one crown that I'm showing you. Okay, now I am going to grab a bead. Yeah, there's a bead here. You can, um, the bead's gonna go right in the middle. Okay, right in the middle. So there's four bands, one, two, three, fours on one side. You take them off, you hook that on. Like that you can do it whichever way you like just as long as you don't lose all your bands okay or um, this is not the easiest way to do it but um, I'm just gonna show you quickly how this is done so you just pull those bands through that and you are gonna pull it open and have a good look that the band is not twisted in any way, okay? Just arrange those bands and make sure they are not twisted like that one there. They are all in order. Now, we're going to pick up the one on the inside like that. So, the one on the inside, which is the first band, which is the darker colour, like that. And then you'll put that back. So it is really hard to show you um, what to do because there's no set pattern to your dis to um, scrolling technique. It's all up to your imagination. So please feel free to do whatever you want. So there's no wrong or right to the design. You are always making the right thing. Well, there's right to the design because you're always making what's right is is from your creative mind so don't feel like you are doing something wrong okay now another band hook that on and we're going to turn it to the other side i am making a really really simple design okay a very very simple crown because um I'm not sure how complicated you want me to show the design. This uh, um, basic scrolling technique, they are flat, they are really basic design, okay, that you can find if you're doing a simple hook only design, you'll find design like this everywhere, okay. So there you go, that's one side. And I'm going to turn to the other side now to show you how to make the other side. So basically you are doing the same thing, okay? You're pulling two bands over. It gets a bit tricky and you might have um, a bit of trouble telling which band is which. So you might want to use two colors. Even if you're using two colors, you still get confused. They might be twisting in the middle, in the inside. So you have to lift them open and make sure, oops, making sure they are um, in the right order, okay? Or your your design will twist sideways. Okay, I think I just pushed my camera sideways a bit. Okay, okay, we'll do this again, one band through two bands, lifting the one that's closest to your hook, okay, 
My dog is talking and... Hey, stop it. Go play somewhere else. Okay, now, <laughs> sorry about that. Now we are pulling one van through two vans, closing it. And grab another van and pulling it through like that. Okay, and I'm going to do the other side now. They're really cute. They they love playing. So. And there we go. One van. And we're going to pick up one more. Close. Now I'm going to try to do this as quick as I can instead of explaining it because you can go back and have a look at um, the video again if you want to. And I don't really want to make the tutorial too long because... <laughs> I think it it's um might be a bit too boring or something. I just just let me know if you quite happy sit down and watch me do this all day. I'll make the tutorial longer just for you, okay? Just leave a comment below if you want me to. Um oh, it's too hard now. Mm. You can do this whichever way you like. You just make sure you got your bands, okay? You can do that with another hook on the other side, pull those bands through, and making sure they are not like that. They are actually in the right place, okay? Move them back into the right spot, and lifting those in the middle, like that. Stretching it out, and Close that with one band over. Now, when I lift those two bands in the middle, the left and the right of the beads, it actually um, does this pretty effect in the middle where it those two bands lift up. You lift those two bands. It's really dark. And you lift those two bands up so they actually... Um, um, how do you call this? They cradle, almost like cradle the beads in the middle. So instead of them being very flat, they actually lifted off the design um, a bit to create this, um, this layer, a different layer to your design. So there you go. That's a simple... The most simple, um, not really most simple, but it's a very simple design um, to make, um, a scrolling bracelet. And basically, if you want to add more to, to it, you can um, just add beads to it, or you just... Um, just keep on adding bands to it. It's really up to your imagination and where you are at with your um, hook only design. You can um, expand by adding another wings to it. Okay. Um, after after those two crowns, you can add another two crowns but I haven't done that before so I don't know what it's going to turn out looking like because when you wear a bracelet on your wrist like that um, the main part that you will see is the crowns and the centerpiece like that so I don't generally add more to the side because um, yeah I just feel like when you have a centerpiece and your crown that's what people are generally looking at the length of the bracelet is just sitting there to hold on to the rest okay so this is the simple design now I am going to show you if you're using one of this how to um, you might want to how you might want to um, use it so we grab two bands, we are going to make a slip knot like that, okay, and we're going to grab another band, another two bands, 
Okay, you just need to make a slip knot. So there's two of them, and you're gonna poke those two bands in there. Okay, and get your hook in there, lifting them out. And when you're doing that, you're pulling it through the other side, you have to make sure you, um, you get them in a symmetrical order, okay? So, yeah, it's very tricky that way. And then those two at the bottom, like that. So you're just basically pulling those bands through and hooking them in. This is all experimental, okay? You have to do this, um, you have to experiment all this design and how you like to hook the bands together yourself so you know what you like. And like I said before, um, scrolling technique is not really just one design or one pattern. It's up to you and your imagination to, you know, create what you want. So, this is hard to explain what I'm doing right now, but I'll just, I just have to show, show you what I'm doing. Uh, because when I'm talking, I am not concentrating very well and might be doing the wrong thing myself. Okay, so, there are too many twisted band. <laughs> now, what you might need to do is organize those bands a bit to make them nice and neat. But there, hang on, let me do it again. Um, that way. Okay. So, like that, so you can actually grab beads and bead those bands as well, put beads in them, okay? And this band, you might want two of those bands in there, and that's how you will start your design, okay? You might want to grab that band as well to 